I was Danny Johnson, which is about a $3,000 event. And then like Eric Warre, who's like the top guy. Um, so there's a lot of people that don't travel mm -hmm. uh, because they can't afford it or they're right. the, the military mom at home with the kids. So they're trying to find something local. I think you have a huge potential there, and especially was... with your price point. I think you have absolutely have to increase your price point, oh, yeah. but yeah. it's still low enough where if, if there's 300,000 and you get 1% of it, mm -hmm. right. you know what I mean? Right. So I would get in front of it. I know you got full-time jobs, and I've been through the startup process myself, so I know where you're at. But I would go to, I wouldn't necessarily like get in touch with LuLaRoe or Secret or, or Mary Kay and say, hey, we want to present what we're doing. I think you just need to go to their meetings mm -hmm. and just start networking like subtly because those women know who has the juice yes. and they gravitate they towards those people. So just my do. only uh, thing that I yeah. would, would yeah. recommend. Love that. That's great. So, yeah. I know everyone's saying to raise the uh, raise the fee that you charge for the for the meetings, and you probably will have to go up for it to be sustainable. The number that you come up with, and you guys will work it out, should be a factor of what your overhead cost is, what you're trying to get out of it, and not just I need to get to fifty dollars. Because at some point, people are gonna they're gonna have to think about it. And fifteen dollars. It's not something you have to think about. Just like when I'm approached with advertising, someone says, oh, we want to rent radio spots for you, X, Y, Z. What's the numbers? If it's a number that I don't have to think about, I don't have to sleep on, I might pull the trigger on it. If I have to sleep on it, then it would likely be no. Right. So right. you, you, wanna, you, you don't really want to lose what you already have. If you spent 2017 at the $15 rate and you expand it out 10 times, that's going to be advantageous for you in the future when you decide to go up versus going up now and then losing your, your lateral yeah. scale. Okay. So. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. To tack on to that, if you're going to go the employer route, I would also find out because they have, they get funds from insurance for wellness programs and professional development. I would find what their limit is and make sure you're under that too. <laughs> and my last question for today is what can one million cups do for you? It's a great question. All of this That's feedback, <laughs> yeah, all of this feedback is exactly what we're looking for. Obviously, we'd love for you to promote it to your house full of women. Um, but if you have ideas on, you know, branding or marketing or how to scale the business model, what that tipping point might be, yeah, really that's so that's the input that we need. Yes, I want to thank you guys. You guys are fantastic. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Do you guys we will. Decide this one keeps your coffee warm and warm Yes. Warm. You'll, you'll see it at well next month. <laughs> Thanks for being here today. Thank, Thank you. you.